Hey there everyone, my name is Nathan and I'm the owner here at Minnesota Mobile Guy. If you're not already familiar with us, we're a business based here in the U.S. state of Minnesota, but we assist customers from all over the world with all sorts of different issues and services on their smartphones, tablets, and other mobile devices. One of the services that our customers most frequently ask us to perform is the updating of the software on a mobile device. There are many different reasons why the software update process may not be working correctly the normal way on a device where it's connected to Wi-Fi and you go in the settings to check for a new update. And so a lot of customers will contact us to have their device manually updated by installing the firmware using a computer when the normal update process over Wi-Fi is not working for them. Now, this video specifically today is going to be in regards to AT&T here in the U.S. When it comes to Android devices, AT&T is very well known for being very, very strict when it comes to their software update process. So for Android devices, they actually require that you have an activated AT&T SIM inserted into the phone in order for it to successfully check and find updates and get them installed. If you insert an actual AT&T SIM that is not activated, the update process will not work. If you insert an active SIM from a prepaid carrier or partner of AT&T, like Cricket or H2O or Straight Talk, the process will not work. So AT&T will only let the device update if you have inserted an actual AT&T SIM, so not from any other carriers, and the SIM has to actually be activated with a phone number and plan on it. So specifically, we're contacted by tons of people every single year asking us for assistance with getting their AT&T device activated, and usually it's because they're using the device SIM unlocked on a different carrier, and so they don't have an, a an activated AT&T SIM card to insert, whether that person is here in the U.S. or if they're in a different country. Now, here with us today, we have a Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra that is originally from AT&T, and this is a device that does not have a SIM card inserted, but it is connected to Wi-Fi. When we go under About Phone and we look at the software information here, we can see that it is running software from back in June 2021. And since this video is being made in July 2022, the uh, firmware is actually about a year old, a little older than a year. And so the, all of the versions here correspond to software that is from June of 2021 as you can see right there. So when we back up and we go under the software update section, we have this here where we can check for updates and then it asks if we want to check, and if we tap OK at the bottom, it just tells us that the current software is up to date. And obviously we know that that's not correct because we can see that the software is more than a year old. Again, this is AT&T refusing to allow their devices to update for whatever reason they've decided unless you actually have an AT&T activated SIM card inserted. Now this device is connected to Wi-Fi as we can see up there in the corner, if my focus would cooperate. And for most other carriers, that's not a problem. They'll allow their devices to update over Wi-Fi. AT&T, for whatever reason, is the only carrier that has these super strict requirements enabled. So this video specifically is in regards to Samsung devices because they are going to be the most popular uh, Android manufacturer and have the most number of devices out there. And this is also because we have an inside source who's been able to provide us with a special program that allows us to download uh, Samsung software from just about any carrier to do the manual software updates. So in addition to blocking the uh, normal over-the-air update process over Wi-Fi, AT&T also has a policy where they do not allow any of the firmware files for updating via computer to be publicly available on any websites. So if you do a Google search or whatever, you can find a hundred or so different websites that will store and host Samsung firmware files that you can download and use to update your own device on a computer. But if you search 
Almost none of them have any AT&T firmware specifically. And again, that goes back to AT&T's uh, strict policies when it comes to updating. So in addition to the restrictions on updating the device itself over Wi-Fi, they also do not allow any of those websites to host their own specific firmware files for doing the update manually with a computer. But like I was saying, we have an inside source who's been able to provide us with a special Samsung tool that they themselves use for downloading firmware, and that gives us access to firmware for all models in the US, including the AT&T ones. So we're going to show you that here real quick uh, on this other screen where we have access to all of the list of AT&T devices. So this is something that we've been working with recently and we've been downloading firmware for several different ones to be able to get devices updated. Mm -hmm. So you can see here we have like the Galaxy A01, the A11s. Uh, here's an X-Cover Pro. This is also another X-Cover Pro model, even though in this program it shows up as an S10 Active. Uh, here we have the firmware for the S21 Ultra, the same phone that we were just looking at. Uh, we have a model here for a tablet, and if we scroll down, we can see all of these various AT&T devices that we're able to download firmware from. Uh, so like over here are the flip and the fold models, and if we keep going down, we work all the way up into the S20s here, the S21s. If we keep going down here, we have the Note 10s, the Note 20s over here. And then we even go into some tablet models here also. And then the uh, history for downloading the firmware actually goes all the way back to very old devices too. So we can go all the way back to the Galaxy S2, S3, the Galaxy S5 series. So this program allows us to download firmware for just about any AT&T device. So if you are someone who has an AT&T device and the software update process is not working and you're looking to get it manually updated using a computer, we would love to assist you with that. So go ahead and get in touch with us. All of our contact information will be right down in the video description and we'll also put a slide at the end of the video that has all of our contact info there as well. While you're here, make sure to check out some of the other videos that we have on our channel as we offer a lot of different services for a lot of different devices and I'm sure you'll find something there that could come in handy someday. Hitting that subscribe button while you're there will enable you to be notified of all of the new videos and services that we're constantly adding and putting up, just like we're doing with this one. Y para todos ustedes hispanohablantes, nosotros también hablamos español, así que ustedes también nos pueden contactar sin duda. Thanks so much for watching, everyone, and have a great rest of your day.